In this video, I'm gonna do a quick demo to show you how to use static crunch uh, to answer questions on the test, whether it is to find the mean, median, standard deviation, or to create a histogram, or to create a box plot. You're gonna find using static crunch since you are taking the test on your computer and you have access to static crunch, you will find it very uh, convenient and very straightforward to use. So I picked one of the questions on the practice test and I'm gonna try to demo uh, everything that I just said that can be done using static crunch. So here is an example, an internet media and market research firm measured the amount of time and individual spends viewing a specific web page. The data in the accompanying table represents the amount of time in seconds. A random sample of uh, 40 surfers spent viewing a web page, create a graphic summary, write a sentence that describes the data. First of all, uh, this is a 40 uh, data values. I don't expect you, you know, to do that on the uh, calculator. I mean, you can, but I do expect you to use a static crunch when it is a large data set. And here's how you do it. So it says click here to view the data table. Sometimes it will give you, you know, just the data and there is an icon to the right of data. You just click on it and it will it'll allow you to open in static crunch. So let's open this in static. Now, here you go. You will see this. When you see something like that, this is when you know that you can open in static crunch. So I'm just going to click on it, open in static crunch. Here you go. We are in static crunch now. Now he's asking us to do a histogram. And as you look at the histogram, the answers, it looks like, you know, each bar, the width of each bar is about 20. So the class width is 20. So how do I ask static crunch to create a histogram with, uh, uh, with a width of 20 so you just go to applets right here and you go to where does it say? histogram with a slider you select the column which is the only column here and you hit compute now let's make sure that i have a class width of 20 to match it with the answers uh, so it is 25 as you can see so i'm gonna move it to 20. there you go and now uh, you guys can, uh, I can do the starting point to be zero here if I want. So it does. And then from this graph, you can try to match it with one of the answers. The one that looks pretty much exactly like this would be the correct answer. So if you can move this one to select the correct bandwidth see if the bandwidth was let's say was 30 i can make it 30 here watch that's a 30 and that's the 20. so this is how you construct uh, uh, a histogram you have to go to uh, applets and select histogram with slider let me show you what else you can do uh, with this data and now if you look at the data sets, you can uh, select which one is. It's going to be easy to select the correct answer. It looks like it's the first one probably. Okay, let me go back to uh, static crunch, to the data set, and show you what else you can do. You can do a box plot. If you are asked to uh, graph a box plot, you will be given four choices and you have to select the correct answer. Here's how you do a box plot. And if the boxes in the answer uh, are given horizontally, you can ask static crunch to draw them horizontally. And here you go, just hit compute. And here's a box plot. You can get a box plot of static crunch. You can get the mean, median, standard deviation of stat crunch by doing this. Go to stat, summary stats, columns, select the variable and just hit compute. And look, you got the mean, x bar, you get the standard deviation, the variance, which is the square of the standard deviation, the median, which is Q2, the range, which is maximum minus minimum, the minimum value, the maximum value Q1 and Q3. Um, if you have uh, two data sets, let me just, for example, 
show you this. And you need to do two box plots and compare them side by side. You can do that. Watch. You can graph box plot. To select both variables, hit the control key and select both of them. And let's say draw boxes horizontally and compute. And here you go. You get both of them. So this is how easy it is to use a static range. Uh, stem and leaf plot, you can do a stem and leaf plot, for example, for variable two, let's say, compute, here's the stem and leaf plot. This is the vertical line here that you see in the book. It doesn't do a vertical line, it does columns like this, but that's in place of the vertical line. Um, I don't know if anything else you need uh, to know, that's, that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much it. Again, for the histogram, guys, I suggest you go to histogram with the sliders and uh, select the column, whether it is one or two, variable one. Hit compute, and then you choose your bin uh, class width. Bin width means a class width. And this is the starting point where you want your graph to start at what value, the histogram, you can select that one as well. Okay, that's it.